<laughs> I'm gonna cut all that out because that is not cute. Hey guys, so girls, how are you doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. What? <laughs> okay, so I know I've been gone for the longest. But, you know, I'm busy with um, working and all that, you feel me? But I'm going to try to come back then, be consistent and all that. But I'm going to quit all the talking. So as you could tell by the title of this video, I'm gonna be talking about this tattoo experience. Yes, I have a new tattoo. I'm addicted. <laughs> so anyway, let's get into the video. Okay. As you guys know, I've been, you know, getting tattoos and stuff. It's only my second tattoo, and I'm hoping it's my last, but I doubt it. Um, I got this tattoo on the 25th, it was exactly like 12 days after my birthday. I wanted to go on my birthday and get the tattoo, but I was like, do I really want this tattoo? Do I really want to get it? Like, it's big. As y'all can see, I went ahead and got it. Um, it has where Grandma married me. This was originally supposed to be a tattoo and a dedication of her because, you know, she passed away and y'all can check out my video about how she passed away and all that if y'all want to cry, but if you don't, then hey, but she passed away when I was 16, in 2016, you know, it was going on three years when my first tattoo. I wanted it to be her roses because she loves her roses. And I've got her name. But I also added my grandma Phyllis name to the tattoo. My grandma Phyllis Ann has cancer. And I was like, why not just get a tattoo of her too? So I was like, I could just, you know, add it in somewhere. So you feel me, my tattoo guy did the dang thing and he added my other grandma name and it was bigger so he added it up here where it was more room and then added my grandma Mary down, name down here so that's basically the backstory i wanted to get like some color added to it but i don't know so so i hit the dude up and i was like Hey, you da 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 can you do this? Like, do you know how to do this? I want this name and this name. And he was like, yeah, I know how to do that. So, um, he only charged me, what, 90? He only charged me 90 for it. You know, everywhere else they wanted to charge me like $400. $400 for a tattoo. I got a tattoo artist that did this one, so I'm pretty sure he know how to do something like this, you feel me? So. That's what I did. Um, so I went over there. Since I already went over there with my friends, I wasn't nervous or nothing. My sister also wanted a tattoo and she got um, my sister's keeper on her arm right here. So he got done around like 10 something. He did my sister tattoo first and then she ended up leaving because she had work. So I'm like, dang, bruh, like I'm gonna be over here by myself. What? And it's late, like I don't know. But he cool and all that. So he started, he drew it. Well, he sticked the two flowers on. And then he drew the, um, the leaves and stuff. And I'm like, okay, okay, like, don't mess up, because this is permanent, like, this is only forever. So, he did it good, like, he started doing it. It didn't hurt. Um, it was stinging a little bit, but it didn't hurt, like, it wasn't bad, like, I thought. Like, my auntie was like, that's gonna hurt. That's a big old tattoo, that's gonna hurt. 
And I'm like, no, it ain't. But it hurt it the most, like when he got up here, did it like by the collarbone and stuff? That's what it hurt the most. That it was stinging for like little needles and stuff. Like little ant bites, but it don't hurt. Like a tattoo don't hurt. Maybe because he was light handed. Like a bunch of people was saying like they tattoo artists was heavy handed and it hurt it. I don't know, maybe that's it. But both of my tattoos was done by the same dude. So my experience with tattoos is pretty good. Like pretty good. The healing process is pretty good. Like it ain't bad. None of that, like, you know, you just put some petroleum jelly if you don't want to buy that expensive stuff because that's what they use anyway. So, I was going to say, you feel me, but yeah. So, basically, it was good. Like, it's healing good. It look good. So, my grandparents found out about my tattoo because my sister snitched on me <laughs> but it's okay it is okay because <laughs> she got she had one on her arm as they feel this and now she got another one on her arm and i don't have no physical tattoos so nobody knew i had this first one nobody knew i had this one but she was like yeah i got that tattoo and my grandma was like, let me see. And she took a picture and she said it was cute and all that. So, and my grandpa, you know, they didn't let um, our dads and stuff get tattoos when they were growing up. So I was like, they finna be mad. They finna say this and that. But they didn't say nothing. They liked it. So I was like, him. Yeah. And they were like, you know, don't do, go too far or whatever. I'm not getting no physical tattoos, honey. All my tattoos are gonna be up here. I'll probably get another one on this one since you know it's plain and stuff. But yeah, so this is the end of my video. I hope you guys like it. I hope it gives you more insight of what to expect when, when you get a tattoo. But I really don't know because mine's been it hurt. So everybody experience is different. I got a big pain tolerance, so maybe that's it. But I'm gonna try to come back with some videos. I'm gonna try to come back with some prank videos. But I just don't have nobody to prank. Like, I just been pranking my parents, and you feel know I me? Mean? They don't really give me the reactions that I need. So it's like, I don't have nobody else to prank. So. Oh, yeah. And. I made me and my boyfriend a YouTube channel, so y'all need to go subscribe. I'm gonna put it in the bottom. Um, I wanna do like some videos, like a boyfriend tag and stuff. I don't know if we're gonna do a prank, cause you feel me? Pranks could lead to like trust issues and stuff. And we doing really good. Like that's my husband. Period. That's my husband. So I'm not trying to like you know, put a strain on our relationship. Like, I will laugh it off, hee <laughs> hee ha ha. I feel like he'll laugh it off too, but I just don't want to like, have him looking at me sideways. Like, if you really doing this, is you really, y'all know what I, y'all know what I'm getting at. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So, you feel me? You probably just do like some tags, some challenges, that type of stuff on our channel. But, you know, we will get everything established. And yeah, y'all just be on the lookout. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. See y'all later. Bye.